So we have already done one of Banff National Park sightseeing gondolas this summer. So with today, we are out at Lake Louise to test this one out as well. We are about to head up that gondola to see if we can see some wildlife and go on a hike up the top. Come along with us. We have loaded onto the gondola. Tickets cost about $60 um, and then we are coming up to the top. I think there's a few hiking trails from up here. Don't know the specifics so we're going to go up hopefully chat to someone and get a map. Um, but it is really interesting to see all of these ski hills with wildflowers on them and everything. If you didn't see, I've already done the same thing at Sunshine Village this summer. We went up there on their summer sightseeing gondola check that video out if you haven't already but it's really interesting to compare so we'll see how the rest of the day at lake goes but for now we're just riding to the top for our ride up today we also got a choice of chair or the enclosed cabin which is just there which is really cool so you get to choose how you want to get up to the top So we got off the chairlift and there was a big map detailing the hikes in the area. We decided to do the Kicking Horse Viewpoint Trail. It's meant to be 1.7k, I believe that's return, hopefully. Um, and we've just got our first view of Lake Louise, which is gorgeous. We're not far in, so we're just gonna continue up this way and hopefully get some great views at the top. Made it up to the Kicking Horse Pass viewpoint at Lake Louise. The views from up here are just incredible. You can see Lake Louise behind me. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And we got so lucky with the weather today. So I definitely recommend coming and checking this out. The hike was steeper than we anticipated, but I think it's worth it for these views. us at the moment and we've come down to this viewpoint it is our second viewpoint of the day but super accessible it's only a very short walk down and you get gorgeous panoramic views from this platform here there's even an interpretive guide you can ask questions to and some information as well so gorgeous views but you don't get the same views at Lake Louise as we got up at the other one Finished up with the Lake 
this gondola now. We are heading back down. We had to wait in the line to get on the return um, chairlift, but it wasn't too long, thankfully. It was a really nice couple of hours up there. I don't think you need long to come and visit, but it is a nice little worthwhile stop. If you're coming to the area, I would highly suggest combining this with a visit to Lake Louise and Marine Lake as well to make the absolute most of your day. I know Lake Louise Ski Resort have shuttles to the actual lake of Lake Louise as well, so you can get a package combo for that, uh, but that doesn't include Lake Marine. So have a look into your options, but it has been a really beautiful day up at the ski resort today. No wildlife sightings yet, unfortunately, but beautiful weather nonetheless. with a stop at the Banded Peak Base Camp. We got a couple of drinks there, enjoyed the sunshine. They have really light snacks, ice cream to offer. It is a beautiful way to finish your day. Now we've come back to the parking lot. This is where all of the Moraine Lake and Lake Louise shuttles go from as well, but there's plenty of parking, so you will not need to worry on your visit. Anyway, we hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with us today. It has been a great time out here at Lake Louise Ski Resort. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.